Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the good and the great that happened in DFS tonight, let me get into my positive word. And my positive word for today is no. I know you're probably like, Stat Man, why are you want to say the word no is positive? Because people say yes far too much these days. People say yes to things that they know they don't really want to do. Give you an example. How many times have somebody called your phone and this type of person, they only call your phone when they want something and they ask you, can they borrow $100? You know daggone well, they never going to pay you back. And then when you call to ask for your money, you're going to go to voicemail. All of a sudden, they don't answer the phone. But when they needed the money, they could have called, you could have called them at 3.30 in the morning. Man, what are you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm just here vacuuming my carpet, man. I'm here eating me some Cheerios. You know, they, they, they up no matter what time of the day or night when they need the money. But when it's time to pay it back, they go missing an action. Like they ain't witness protection or something. And also, guys, how many times have you, you dated a woman that you know you didn't want her to be your lady? But she said, the only way you'll get X, Y, Z is if you my man. And you'd be like, all right, I'll be your man. And ladies, how many times have you got with a guy knowing you didn't want to be his lady, but because he had a nice car or some money, you act like you liked him and said yes when you know you should have said no? And how many jobs have you guys taken that you know you didn't want to do, but you just did it because you was just desperate for money? Guys, I say no more than yes. I turned down a national McDonald's commercial that was going to pay me $10,000. Because morally, it didn't fit with me. McDonald's food is 50% cardboard and sawdust. And I'm like, I can't see me sucking down a Big Mac. And I'm telling my son, don't eat McDonald's. And I'm in there eating a McDonald's commercial. That would make me a hypocrite. So yes, I turned it down. But I'm not like the average guy. That's what makes me me. And I'm going to leave it there with the no. All right, let's get into the recap of last night, guys. DeGrom got blasted. Yeah, guys, he gave us nine points. He got destroyed, guys. Yes, DeGrom got destroyed, ladies and gentlemen. He he just got two out the frame. Morrison did well for us, though, guys. Morrison had a, a, a really, really good game. Morrison gave us 30.9. Garcia, I think I changed him last minute. And Conforto gave us 12.9. It's not bad. Now, guys, my earlier lineups was fire. It was, I mean, anybody who had my earlier lineups, they did well. Um, tonight, I had two lineups that were over 170 points. Um, I won all of my head-to-heads. Tonight, I finally picked my two out of the five that were the best two. Because normally, I always get, like, the, the worst lineup, and then I get, like, a medium. Today, I got both lineups over 170. I won all my head-to-heads. I actually posted one on Twitter. I don't really post all of them on Twitter. Because I feel like, what are you bragging for? You know, I expect to win. I'll just post one because you always had a doubters. You got people who come on my page and they hope and pray I do bad. And I didn't do bad. I did great. So I'm not really that happy because it's it's just two days in a row that I've won. Um, I don't smile till it's a five-day win streak. Two days in a row means absolutely zero to me. All right. So let me get into my four my four horsemen for tomorrow. I'm picking Pica, um, pitcher Estrada. He has a 3.15 ERA, and the Yankees just came off an emotional loss, and they had to travel. You always want to get a home team on their first game on the road because they're going to be sluggish. They're getting into the hotel late. Then they got to go play the game. They're not going to get a bunch of rest. They're not in their own bed. They're not comfortable yet. All right, my, I'm going to go first baseman smoke. Um, I'm going to pick Sanyo because he wasn't feeling well today, so he had a day off. He's going to be really energized tomorrow. And I know Adam Jones had 44 points tonight. Guys, whoever got my Adam Jones lineup tonight, it was in first place last I checked. It was in first place last I checked. So, and, they, and the pitcher's still pitching. So, that lineup is doing rather well. Um, who knows if it'll hold up, but hey, he had over 170 points with the pitcher still pitching. So, Let's see what happens. Okay, so now that, then that would be my third 70, 170 plus point lineup. All right, so guys, um, now tomorrow, um, 
I keep telling you guys to just play two lineups. Even if you, I don't care who you buy lineups from. If you run five lineups, you're crazy because because you're going to have two lineups that's not going to do well. So you better hope and pray you pick the two best. But if you run all of them, you're going to lose money. Me, I like to just run two. I'll, I might run, you know, three and play a dollar. But I normally play the two I like the best. I play two head-to-heads, and then I'll throw one into the GPP. Tonight, I threw the wrong one in the GPP. I didn't throw that the Adams lineup in the GPP. So it happens, guys. But, um, but yes, I'm on to, to today. And like I said, Two days in a row winning means nothing to me. Um, I love you guys. Um, don't forget to win win. Give people what they want so you get what you want. And always think in ink because your dreams do not become reality until they're written down on paper. All right, guys. So love you guys and on to today.